What is up guys, welcome back to my channel once again, I've heard Zero Two Twelve. I have uh, another review for you guys, this time it's a review on um, how these uh, Gucci shoes, the Bambi edition, have been holding for like over a year now. I've been having these for like maybe like a year and a half now and then, I mean it's rare when I do use these but, I mean I use these a couple of times I say, you know, parties, dinners and uh, you know, some hang out with some friends here and there occasional it's not an everyday shoe but i mean once you pull it out you know man this shoe hits in every places you know, that's what she said no i was kidding um this shoe right here is a really amazing eye catcher like for sure like this uh these shoes right here they could see you from miles away and people will like notice you right away these shoes are really crazy like for you guys especially sneaker heads this shoe is a must-have you guys had to have something like this something crazy you know and your sneaker collection this is a, a must-have nowadays it's really hard to get this shoe right here every time i walk into a gucci store you know, it's like i rarely even see these even online i haven't even seen them anymore these um these shoes right here is the gucci bambis these are uh, retail at $730 plus tax. And I came out to maybe like almost close to 800, I say. These are kind of pricey. They are durable. And don't get me wrong, these are really nice shoes. Like I told you guys, these shoes, I haven't even cleaned them at all. I worn them about maybe, I say like good, like, like 20 times already. And like I tell you guys, this is an eye catcher. I don't know, you guys could tell, like, by the camera could catch this, but all the sparking on this shoe is really crazy. And uh, I just have my camera right here with the flash on and, you know, it's catching all the light. Same with this one, but uh, I'm going to tell you guys some pros and some cons for these shoes. Are they worth it? Stay tuned. So let's get started with this review right here, guys. Uh, like I said, these are the Gucci Bambi um kind of like um it has all uh, glitter material all over it the glitter is just amazing on these shoes right here it's really crazy i never seen any other shoes like these right here the sparking on these is crazy like i told you guys people will be able to see you from miles away and then um you know some pros for these shoes right here you know if you like to stun real hard you know like some people do i mean these are it right here you know, this is definitely, like I said, an eye catcher. People would technically take pictures of you. You'll feel famous with these shoes. Trust me, like, people, this, uh, you we, we, we will catch a lot of attention with these shoes right here. These are really sexy as shoes, I, I say, my opinion. Some other ones that I've seen that are kind of sparky like these are the, some Christian Louboutins that I've seen at the high top with the, uh, uh, with those, the Christian Louboutins, the stones are a little bit bigger though. But they do shine really nice too but for the price of two thousand almost three thousand dollars for those versus these right here these are under a thousand bucks you know gucci definitely kill these right here really really nice and then these come with the gucci logo right here on the side well you know the original logo is the green and red and then they slap with these on you know the blue and red actually looks nice too you know it's a darker color i feel like a green would just kind of be a mismatch you know it wouldn't really go with these and um uh, heel tab you know some drill um some heel drag down here not much you know not heavy i kind of don't like to drag my feet either way you know i always pick up my feet on uh, uh, material wise you know they be holding pretty nice they do have some um some scars right here on the sides on the toe box i don't know if you guys can see this one this one's pretty good this one's pretty okay the one, the one on the left i'll show you guys the other side, you know, um, these, the only thing that I um, kind of don't like is um, the bottom of it. I mean, it does kind of look grippy, but in some areas of like, you know, like tiles and stuff like that, it tends to slip. It doesn't really have that much tension on the floor. I did wear them to a party one time. It was a small gathering, not big, but it was in kind of in a salon. And I was kind of slipping on the on the dance floor a lot. So thankfully, you know, I ended up taking some other dress shoes to change them because uh, I kind of didn't want to beat these up. And, uh, you know, kind of uh, crease them a lot. 
thankfully they didn't they didn't increase at all i was trying to like you know kind of stepping out to crease i'm kind of walking like a damn penguin probably i didn't even notice gucci in the back has these metal studs here in the back gucci imprint in there and then this is some things that i kind of didn't like you know it does get a lot of dirt in there in between the glitter I don't know if you guys can see this scuff right there on the side. I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't know if I hit, maybe like rubbed against the wall, against the chair or something. But um, you can't really tell, you know, it's a small scuff right here. And then at this here, another smaller one here. I guess if you scuff them, you know, the glitter will, you know, they will just scratch off and, you know. But other than that, you know, it's not bad. I do feel kind of like buying another pair of these just to have them there on the ice. Like these right here, you know, these can never go wrong with it. You must have a, like I said, if you're a sneakerhead, you, you have to have these right here. It's rare to see these in the, you know, outside, you know, somebody wearing these. I, um, I walked in, I remember a couple months back, I ended up going to Cheesecake Factory and I wore these right here. And these were shining like crazy in there. I made the whole room, you know, Cheesecake is all dark in there. Kind of made it feel like I was shining the whole room in there like the whole restaurant in there everybody was turning heads watching i seen some guy taking pictures of my shoes too i mean i could just i told him you could just ask no nah, i didn't tell him anything but you know i kind of acted like i didn't see but um definitely definitely a must cop it's just a price range you know it's not that bad compared to other designer shoes you know these are 730 plus you know the size 800 dollars you know it is a lot of money but comparing Comparing these to other kind of designer shoes, you know, these are pretty good price. I said decent size, you know, you know, and that, you know, the bottom is all white. That's another thing I didn't like that it's white. It is going to get dirty real quick, real, real bad. I think I remember um, I have some wipes from Crap Protect. Shout out to them. You know, I do clean some of my shoes, but these I haven't cleaned them at all. Something at the bottom, I don't know, I just haven't cleaned them. And then... I remember seeing some splash marks on this, this pair or the other one. I think it's on this one, okay. Probably see it without the light. And I have some splash marks. I can't see it right now. I remember catching also like splash marks right here. Some little tiny dots. I remember seeing them there. Can't really see them right now. But uh, other than that, like I, you know, I mentioned so many times here throughout the video, I really Highly recommend these for you guys to have. These are really nice. Mm, saw a leather in the inside, all black. I don't really tie these shoes. I kind of, you know, just kind of make it tighter on, on this edge right here. And then just put the laces in here and just, you know, kind of step with them in there like that. And I feel like they look nicer like this and, you know, tied up in the bowl in there. This looks nicer in my opinion. Mm -hmm. it's really nice uh, i'm gonna show you guys on feet right now show you guys how they look and uh, if you guys have any questions please comment down below i'll gladly you know ask i'll answer your your questions you know and then um if you guys got this far to my video go back to my other video that i previously did on the colognes and just mention just comment down below your favorite cologne or which one you know you guys really like just comment down below and then you'll automatically be able to enter, you know, the give a uh, cologne giveaway that I'm doing once I hit 500 subscribers. So that's it. I'll show you guys on feed. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.